of the Master Revival, Sons of God Fellowship Ministry. Amen. Where we preach and teach the revelation, knowledge of Jesus Christ that is hidden in the Word of God. Excuse <coughs> me. Praise God. I greet all of you in the spirit of love. You that's on YouTube and all around. Amen. Facebook. Amen. Online on the radio. And you that's here uh, with us on today. I thank God for you. I'd like to welcome you for coming and taking time of, of your busy life to be with Sandra and I on today and the hosts of others in the body of Christ. We do appreciate you for being here. Amen. The purpose of our ministry is to spiritually enlighten us to some divine revelation knowledge that is hidden in the word of God. Just for us who are spirit that's been a spiritual ear to hear them. God is releasing these revelations in the years of 2000 like an overflow, I say, an overflow of running water. Amen. Praise God. Tell me, are we ready to receive? Amen. Are we ready to receive? Amen. The teacher cannot teach until the students are ready to listen. Can I take take my time? Amen. I know we have only have a three minute uh, one hour. Can I take us world into the next level. Are we ready? Three weeks ago, I spoke from John 6 chapter, the 48th verse, where it says, Jesus said, I want everybody, if you can see the board, I want everybody to look at the board. You that can see the board. Jesus said, I am that bread of life. Eat me. Amen. We spoke that a few weeks ago. This is the communion, the Lord's table. I will be continuing bringing out the revelation knowledge of that bread of life. We are invited to eat and the cup of wine we shall drink glory. Glory, I felt the anointing. When I say the cup of wine, we should drink it. That was sent down from heaven. Now, when I'm talking about this wine was sent down from heaven, this bread. This wine is nothing corny and nothing to play with. Glory. We're going to get us some word concerning this bread and this wine that was sent down from heaven. And when I say heaven, I'm talking about the spirit man. 
And I want everybody to look at the board where it say this, this wine is not carnal. But the best wine that was saving for last in the end of end time. Oh yes. We are living when everything is coming is coming to an end. In deep understanding of things, glory, of things. And I want everybody, if you can, if you can put your phone on mute, I appreciate, so that the speaker will not be disturbed, or even those who are trying to hear the word of God. Can you do me a favor? Can you keep your phone on mute? I appreciate it. I'm so glad you came out today to be with us. Oh, God bless your heart. Amen. Amen. That's why there's nothing caught up but the best wine, said the Holy Spirit, that was saved for last, in the end time. Oh, yes. We are living when everything is coming to an end. I'm excited. Did you excited? In deep understanding, all things has came to an end on the cross when Jesus said it is finished in heaven and earth it's just that man don't know it yet today the title of my message is It Is No Place to Go. This is it. Glory. Who can hear it? Let me say it again. The title of my message today, it is no place to go. This message will, will be on YouTube. You can, do, you can listen in on YouTube and read the message. Listen to me, people. It is no place to go to go, this is it. Who can hear it? God said, go with me to Matthew 13 and 35. I will utter utter Things hitting, hitting since the creation of the world. Listen to me, people. Matthew 13 and 39. God said, I will utter things. Thing, look at that word, thing. Things, things, things 
that's hidden. Since the creation of the world. See, God got things that is hidden. Hidden since the creation of the world. Glory. And God is releasing it in the years of 2,000 people. Hear me today. Matthew 13 and 9. Who had ears to hear? Say the Spirit. Let him hear. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. I feel the presence of God. I feel his anointing. Glory. 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 This is that bread, said the Holy Spirit. In John 6 and 58. This is that bread which came down from heaven, Jesus said. Not as your father. Listen to me, church world. Did he manna in the wilderness? And are dead. They died. He that eat uh -uh, uh, this bread, uh, this is a different bread. Because see that other bread was corn. But it said, He that eat this bread shall live. Shall live how long? How long? Forever. Forever. John 6 and 60. Many therefore of his disciples, when they had heard, when they had heard, this, 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 a revelation, and this, and heard this, when they heard this disciples, when they heard this, said this. This revelation, revelation, this, and heart, a heart, when they heard this, said this seals, and heart, saying, who can? Hear it. Let me read it again. John 6 and 60. Many therefore of his disciples, when they had heard this, this, why is a revelation in this? Why I tell you something moves in the inside. When I say when they heard this, we can hear a lot of things, but when they heard this, said this, the wonder line is this. Ooh, the 
revelation. What is a revelation? Something that is hidden. Something that has a super meaning. Profound. A meaning. A secret. Something that's been revealed it. When they heard this, something that's been revealed it. Saying this, this revelation is a hard, a hard saying. Who can hear it? And we're going to get into this. This is a hard saying. Who can Hear it, world. John 6 and 60. 60. Notice the question. His disciple asked, When they had heard, when? When they had heard, when? When? They heard something. They heard something that was supernatural. Something that was far beyond the understanding of this carnal world. Said, This is a hard saying. Who can? Who can, who can hear it? John 6 and 40. Jesus said, I am well. Hear me today. Jesus said, I am that bread. Bread. Bread of life, eat me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Other words, this bread, Jesus, church, is speaking, is something God is releasing. Hear me now in the spirit realm and those things what he is releasing is something that is not of this kind of thinking but from the spirit realm hear me church hear me I'm going to say it one more time somebody missed it that is what God is revealing to my spirit. Other words, this bread that Jesus is speaking is something, is something God is releasing in the spirit. And those things, what he is releasing is something Something that is not of our kind of thinking, but from the spirit realm. God, listen to me, is speaking, but world, who are listening? God. Is speaking, but who? Who world? Who are listening? God is saying a lot of things, but world, who are listening? What thing? Those things are spiritual things. 
but who are listening, said the Spirit. Other words, who are paying attention. Other words, I like to say to the world, are we paying attention? That's what the Holy Ghost told me in meditation. Are we were paying attention to what someone asked a question to what to those things those things those things that was hidden before the foundation of the world to those things the spirit is saying world of our ears open can we hear can we hear Work are our eyes open? Can we see Matthew 13 and 13? Therefore speak I I to the army power because seeing they see not. And hearing hearing let me go back. They hear not, neither do they understand. Matthew thirteen and fourteen and they are is the fulfillment, fulfillment of the prophet. I feel the anointing. Of Isaac, you will be allowed for hearing, but never understanding. You will be allowed Today, talk about the now, those people that are calling will be ever seen, but never perceived. Matthew 13 and 15. But this people, hawks, wax clocks, and their ears, my God, a dove, glory to God, of hearing, hearing what? What the Spirit, what the Spirit, what the Spirit is saying. The Spirit of God is saying so much in this hour. Hear me, church. Hear me, world. The Spirit of God is speaking out to the universe. But who are listening? Glory to God. Do you have a ear? Said the Holy Ghost. Do you have a ear? My people. Glory to God. Israel, do you have an ear to hear what I'm talking about Israel? I'm not talking about overseas Israel in the flesh. I'm talking about spiritual Israel. The church, the body of 
not a believer? Are you a believer that you are Israel? My God is a dove of hearing and their eyes they have closed it lest at any time they shall see. Look at that. My God, see what? With their eyes. What kind of eyes? Spiritual eyes. And hear with their ears. What ears? Those spiritual ears. Shall understand with the heart and shall be converted and I uh -oh. God said that I I shall heal the spirit of you shall heal me listen to me word on listen to me I'm so glad that you took in. Glory be to God to be with us today. It was the Holy Ghost that brought you here. Did it come here by the accident? It could have been any place. But God had heard your cry. You have been seeking for a deeper level. Higher hikes. Somebody been asking God for a word. But I'm telling you, you're in the right place. Glory be to God at the right time. Amen. Because God is pouring out in this hour revelation, knowledge. Listen to me, world. The Spirit of God is speaking. What is the Spirit saying? 1 Corinthians 2, 9, 10, 13, and 14. But as it is written, eyes have not seen, not ears heard, neither have entered into the heart of man. Now that's a part of man. Don't you understand that you can walk that down to the land of hunger? Yea, the corner man can hear the things of the Spirit. The things which God has prepared for them that love Him. I'd like to ask a question. How many of you love God? Well, if you love God, God got some things that He had kept back. The best one. Glory to God. The best bread, fresh from the oven, kept back for us in the last days. For they are not love him. But God, look at this now. Transition that but. But God gave me a feeling them unto who? Us who got open mind, us who are not closed up, us who are hungry, us who are thirsty. Glory to God, the Son of God, by His Spirit, for the Spirit searches all things. Yea. Yay, the Spirit got some deep things. Deep. Oh, I'm in 1 Corinthians, the 2nd chapter, I'm reading the 10th verse. Somebody say, God don't have no deep things. But 1 Corinthians say, 2nd chapter, this didn't come from Lancaster, this came from God, from the Spirit realm. Written in the word of God. I believe every revelation shall light up 
with the word of God. They say, yay, the deep, call it out to the deep, the deep things, things, not a man, but things, things of God, the deep things, the deep things of God, who can hear it, glory to God. That's that bread that Jesus was talking about. Who can hear it? Who? It's a hard saying. When they get into the deep, cry to the deep. First Corinthians 2, 9, 2, 10, 13, 14, well read 14 verse, but the natural man receives not the thing that I think again. Revelation and things. Things of the Spirit of God. There are things that is of the Spirit of God. At church, we won't get it if we're walking by our folks. We want the things that are freely given to us. We got to come out of this natural being, out of our natural thinking, out of this car of mind. If we want to receive the things that God has prepared for us, for a day to the car of man of foolishness unto him, neither can he know them. The carnal man, because they are spiritual, spiritual discerning. And I like to speak to you that are spiritual, you be in catch. This world won't understand you. Glory to God, because you're talking in a language that far beyond the understanding of this world. Keep on. And don't get up. Stay on your post. Don't get up. Don't get up. If God, and we can take the hill though, be for us. Who can be against us? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody help me pray some. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Matthew 13 and 16. But, but, transformation. That word, but, that's a shift. But, blessed are your eyes. For they see. <laughs> Woo! For they see. See those things that those disciples walked away from and said, That's a hard saying. Who can eat it? Glory be to God. See. And your ears, for they, for they hear, hear what? But Mary hear, glory to God. But Martha can hear. Mary sits so still, and she heard. Woo, glory. Revelation two and seventeen. Get them ready to close. He who has an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. One who overcometh, I will give him overcometh what? This carnal of mind. This carnal of thinking. Glory. I will give to the one that overcometh. My first name is Steve. Overcome my thinking. Overcome, I will give. I will kill the hidden man. See, there's some hidden matter 
that God is releasing in the year of 2000. Get ready, get ready. Oh, glory. You talk about a revival, get ready to take place. I know we got people voting, and I know we got people getting office, but oh, I see the spirit realm. Somebody being demoted, and somebody being exalted. Hear me, church. Oh, I will get off the head of my out. My secret words, my secret revelation to them that are the color. And we also give him white stone ready, do name knowing to one who receive it. God is still speaking, but world who is listening. St. John 5 and 24 and 25. Father, I say unto you, the hour is coming. And now, that where you've been in school, you know what that means. That means right now. If when the dead, who is the dead? They that are caught among me shall hear the voice. The Son of God, and they, and not everybody, and they that hear, hear what was the Spirit saying, shall live spiritual. Woo! Ephesians 5 and 14, I got to close. Wherefore he said, Awake it thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead. Who are you sleep? Who's sleeping here? God said, wake them up. It's time to wake the church up. Wake up, church. It's time to wake from your slumber. God is doing great things. We living in the best days. Hallelujah and Christ shall give them your life. This is a hard thing. Who can hear it? God is still speaking, world. But who is listening? Hebrew 10 and 1. That of all, give me a few minutes, was all that shout of good thing to come. And not the very image of a thing. Can never with those sacrifices which was offered each year to be made perfect. St. John 20 and 26. And after the eighth day, we in after the eighth day, we in after the eighth day, eight stand for a new beginning. After the eighth, after we in after the new beginning, after the eighth day, again his disciple was with him. And Thomas said with him, the king Jesus, the, the door being shut. And the door was what? Shut. And stood in the midst while the door was what? Shut. That means, and he said he stood in the midst. That means that he came in the spirit realm. And we got to go where Jesus is. He said, the spirit realm, where are you, Thomas? You trying to fill it. You trying to touch it with your physical, but in the years of 2000, hear me, world, it's not going to come by five senses. It's not going to come by thinking, but it's going to come by the power of the anointing, by the spirit realm. Glory. And after the eighth day, Sign John 20, 28, 29, and Thomas answered. I got three minutes, and I'm going to close. And he said unto him, My Lord, my God. Jesus said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed it. But he said, Shelf. John 20, 29. Blessed are they. That have not seen and yet have believed. Oh, come on, church. God is still speaking. But who 
are listening. John 4 and 21, Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour will come it. You shall need at this mountain stand by elevation. No more in Jerusalem you shall worship the Father. But the hour cometh, and now the earth, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit. How are we going to overcome this society? We're going to walk in the spirit. Hallelujah. In the truth, for the Father seeks such to worship him. St. John 4 and 24. God, our God, He's not a man. He's not a woman. Our God, he is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. John 6 and 48. I am that bread of life. Eat me, Jesus said. I am coming to a close. The bread of life he was speaking of to eat was not his natural fleshly body. That's the carnal thinking of man. But he was speaking spiritual. He was speaking revelation. Those things of the spirit realm. John 6 and 6 and being up there for his disciple when he heard this and this it's a hard saying. Who can hear it? Who can hear it? But there are some of you that believe not. From the beginning, who they were. Jesus knew who they was. Who didn't believe it? Believe what? Those things of the spirit realm. John 6 and 6 and 6. For that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. I am coming to a close. John 6 and 68. Then Jesus said unto the twelve, the chosen one, we are you. Our soul go away. John 6 and 69. And Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to who shall we go? Thou hate word of eternal life. Let's give God the glory, the praise. Come, hallelujah. My conclusion is, it is no place to go. I don't care what it looks like. It might look like it's going on the other side, but it's no place to go. It's just a canopy to go. This is it. Who can hear it? God bless you. God bless all of you. Thank you. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord.